So today we will have a look at whatever is inside this small little box. This was sent to me by a viewer and if I'm not mistaken this is an original Voodoo graphics card. So a Voodoo 1 so to say. I already opened the box but I haven't looked inside. There is some bubble wrap in there. Okay. So let's see if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I already see the Orchid logo. Okay. So we have an Orchid Righteous 3D. I think the logo is on the back. Yes. This is one of the first models that ever entered the market. Unfortunately, the card doesn't seem to work. I see a little bit something on the FBI chip here, but we'll look at this under the microscope in a moment. So what the symptoms are, first of all, the card is detected correctly in Mojo. It shows the TMU, the FBI and the memory attached correctly. But every time a 3D game is being started, the card just freezes. So instead of guessing, let's just jump right under the microscope and see if we can spot something that is not normal or if we can see anything suspicious. Okay, and we are under the microscope. So I don't know much about this card. I only know that the owner explained to me what is not working. And that is 3D games. And that is a little bit of a problem for a Voodoo graphics card. Because all it does is render 3D games. So I'm just checking now quickly if we have any issues on the connectors, specifically the PCI connector. No. And the next step would be just to check the pins around the 3DFX chips. Okay. Um, yeah, somebody was here, 100%. There is flux everywhere. I would not leave a card like this. I'm sorry. This is not clean. But I can already say that... Like, these pins don't have solder on them. They are... They seem to be attached, but... Barely. So... I wonder what else we will find. Definitely somebody has done some work on these on these chips. Okay, so let's see what else we can find. All kinds of stuff in here. Okay. So I would have to go over all these pins anyway one more time because you see there's there's flux everywhere yeah so this pin already could be the issue because well it clearly moves even though it seems to have contact no this is not good enough I had this problem on a Voodoo 2 before. So the easiest thing that we can do is to reflow all the pins. I wonder if it's because of bad solder connections or will we find something else? So yeah, even this pin here. Yeah, I can move it so... Yeah. See, there's no solder there. 
So these pins are all deprived of solder. They're barely making contact. And if they make contact, then it's maybe just a little bit that keeps those pins in place. So that could totally be the reason why this card doesn't work. What do we have here? Yeah, this pin needs to be pushed a little bit to the correct spot, but no, there's nothing else here. Okay. No solder bridges. That's good. Because the problem is this card was switched on. So if you have power pin connecting to something, we have a problem. We can still see the flux everywhere behind those pins. It is very difficult to get this stuff out if you don't have a tiny brush and isopropyl alcohol to get this residue out, but could have done a little bit of a better job. Now let's check the TMU chip. This is the smaller chip above. And yes, we can also see there is flux. There you go. This is not factory. But this one looks good. I mean, yeah, there is still flux everywhere. But if this solder was reflown, then good job. Okay. This is enough flux for like five voodoo cards. So I think we checked now all sides. Yes, there are issues with a few pins that are not right above their pads. Oh, 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 oh. What did we find here? Yeah, so that's most likely our issue. No, it's not. <laughs> you can see the traces, they're all connected here. So no, but there is a solder bridge. So no, this is not an issue. I thought I found something. Well, so I guess I will start now with resoldering the pins around both 3DFX chips. But before I start repairing all these pins, a quick shout out to PCBWay, the sponsor of this video. PCBWay is your one-stop shop for all things PCB. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, PCBWay offers high-quality PCB manufacturing, prototyping and even 3D printing at affordable prices. With over a decade of experience and commitment to precision and fast delivery, PCBWay is the perfect partner for your next project. So head over to PCBWay.com and bring your designs to life. Or participate in PCBWay's 7th Project Design Contest. Submissions are open until January 19th, 2025. Links are in the video description. Okay then, let's start with the FBI chip, the bigger chip of the two. Some nice and clear flux. If you want to get this flux, there are links on my website. So if you're looking for something to try out, be my guest and have a look. So let's see if you reflow a few of these pins. You absolutely need a microscope for something like this. Um, Yes, you can do it with a magnifying glass, but a stationary microscope is just so much easier to deal with. I added now a little bit fresh solder to my soldering iron because this area really had almost no solder on the pins. Now we can load up while we continue forward and see this this solder pin looks very different from all the others either this was missed or i don't know so let's see what happens when i go over it oh now it looks the same oh there's another one and fixed okay
Now here is a here is a friendly zero ohm resistor, a bridge, which causes me a little bit trouble to reach the other pins here. So I'll change my orientation of my soldering iron. There's another pin that looks a little bit odd. But now all looks good. One side is done. move this friend a little bit, just a little bit. And we're done with the FPI chip. So now comes the TMU, which looks much better to be honest, but I still want to reflow everything since I'm already doing that. So what I will do now is I will just remove this one solder bridge and then I fix the rest of the chip off camera. And I'm done. Okay, then. <laughs> I'll see you once the card is fully reflown. Whew. So I have been cleaning up this card for now, maybe half an hour approximately. But I think I managed to get most of it away from the 3DFX chips. And the card looks quite decent now. And I think all of those pins are now resoldered and we can test this card. So this is the FBI chip. This one had the most issues with the pins. I'm just looking for solder bridges. Okay, this all looks good. Now let's have a look at the TMU. This was also heavily drowned in flux. This was quite difficult. I I used a fresh brush. Now it's no longer the bristles go inside the chip and they can get out whatever flux is in there with enough isopropyl alcohol. So this definitely helps. I'm running out of these small brushes, but they are perfect for cleaning those 3DFX chips. And even here you can see that the entire flux has gone. But here is something in there which I want to see if I can get out. I think this is part of my brush. There we go. But here was everywhere was the flux stuck in the under the chip. Yeah, now it looks clean. All the pins are resoldered, and we can test this card now. So yeah, this card has been fixed. Hopefully, let's see what happens when we go and put it in a test system. Look at Mojo and Tomb Raider in DOS mode.
Okay, so the Orchid Righteous 3D is now in my slot 1 test system with a Pentium 2 333. I hooked it up to an ATI Rage XL, I think. It's a very funny card. It has only one memory chip. So let's power on the system. Okay. Yes, okay. So, let's see. Oh, we went into Windows. I wanted to go into DOS to directly try Tomb Raider and Mojo, but that's okay. I'm assuming Windows will start trying to install drivers. Yes. I don't have a mouse connected now. Oh, look at that. And we need our Windows installation disk. And that seemed to have worked, but I want to go to DOS. Okay, you heard the relays click and we have the Voodoo board come up immediately. We have everything showing up correctly, but this is basically what I understood also from the owner that this worked flawlessly. Then let's try Tomb Raider. We have the 3DFX Voodoo 1 patch installed. So let's load the CD. Hopefully this works. Yes. And let's try Tomb Raider. <laughs> we have relays clicking. We had the 3DFX logo but no video. Okay, I think maybe I have a problem with the ATI Rage XL, but Tomb Raider looks like it's working and there are no artifacts. This 3DFX card looks like it's working well. Yes. Unfortunately, I don't have a sound card installed right now. <laughs> this is a graphics card repair video. Now, unfortunately, I didn't try the card before I refloat all the pins around the 3DFX chips. But yeah, I, I don't want to risk damaging something by plugging in a card without going under the microscope. And when I'm already under the microscope, I'm just going ahead and fixing the things that need fixing. This 3DFX card is fixed. Unfortunately, I didn't show the state of the non-working card. I have to go by the word of the owner. But yeah. Another 3DFX card, specifically an Orchid Righteous 3D. So yeah, I'm happy about that. And I hope the owner of this card is also happy that this card is back to rendering 3dfx titles it is the only 3dfx card that has mechanical relays that switches between 2d and 3d mode so there is an audible click every time the card starts to render 3d scenes or goes into 3d mode so if you enjoyed this video it's maybe a little bit of a shorter one and you have probably seen already more videos where I just fix pins around the 3DFX chip, but it's just such a common fault on those cards. Usually this is my go-to point to check if those pins are loose or like in this case, they looked like somebody was already there trying to fix it. But without a microscope and a proper setup with flux and a nice soldering iron, it will be just super difficult to get this stuff done. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. A big thanks to all my Patreons for their invaluable support. Without it, these videos would not be possible. And also, again, a big shout out to PCBWay who are sponsoring my videos. So thank you so much for your time, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you and bye bye.